welcome to Your Health. I'm your host, Erica Cardenas. Today we're at TGen and we're talking brain health. We have advice to improve your memory and keep your brain healthy. But first, here's what's coming up on the show. Chronic back pain plagues millions of Americans. Our spine experts have the perfect solution to getting rid of that pain once and for all. And a gym that works around your schedule so you can stick to that exercise routine. Plus, a simple online test you can take to help doctors find a way to prevent Alzheimer's. All that and more on this episode of Your Health. Many of us suffer from chronic back pain, and a big obstacle is just getting a proper diagnosis and treatment path. The experts at Stridewell Spine can help with that. Spine is a very complex part of the skeletal system. It provides stability, but also flexibility. A number of structures can cause pain, and it is important to educate oneself on the limitations of the spine for healthy living. Stridewell is a new concept in spine care. We offer same-day appointments to individuals suffering from neck or back pain. Individuals don't know whether to turn to their primary care physicians, a chiropractor, a massage therapist, pain specialist, or spine specialist. Every treatment should start with a clear diagnosis that can guide patients to the proper treatment, and this is exactly what Stridewell offers. Our emphasis is on comfort and education. Making an appointment is simple. Navigate to stridewell.com and choose the time that's convenient for you. Same day appointments are standard. When a patient arrives, our goal is to make them as comfortable as possible. They're already suffering from different limitations. We have various seating arrangements that help them deal with their pain. The education part is also very important. Our goal is to educate them on their problems so they can better understand it. Once a consultation with a spine specialist takes place, a video is cued where an individual actually learns about the specific part of the problem and understands the details of their limitations. Any individual will benefit from this kind of an evaluation. A chronic back sufferer, a newly injured athlete, a car accident victim. We specialize in the problem that affects an individual, not the other way around. Aside from pain and suffering, spine problems can affect the nervous system in a devastating way. Compression on the spinal cord and nerve can lead to a neurological disability for the rest of the patient's life. Getting a diagnosis properly from a spine specialist is the most important part of this treatment option. We hope to provide a peace of mind to our patients. Knowing that something is truly wrong with you and establishing a treatment plan that will eliminate the problem is very soothing to the patient's psyche. Stridewell is different. Uh, our state-of-the-art facility and sophisticated knowledge base within our spine specialists offers something unique. If an individual truly suffers from back or neck pain, this is the place to start your treatment. Establish the diagnosis most of the time the same day and proceed to treatment to a life free of pain. Research shows that chronic back pain can actually affect brain function like learning, memory, and emotional processing. The great news is if you get the pain under control, the brain can restore itself to normal function. Hearing loss can affect many areas of your life, and that's why it's so important to get a hearing test every year after the age of 50. Let's meet a team of doctors who are committed to your hearing health. My name is Kathy Kurth, uh, Doctor of Audiology here at the Audiology and Hearing Aid Center. Practice was started by me approximately 35 years ago in an office of 400 square feet. Today we have three offices throughout the Scottsdale area. Hearing loss is a very gradual process. If this morning you woke up with a 50% hearing loss, you'd know immediately something was dramatically different. But if you've been losing hearing year after year, a percent, two percent a year over say the last 10 to 15 years, your brain adapts to that hearing loss, not realizing what you're missing. Those around you realize 
when you're asking them to repeat frequently and the TV must be louder and you're sitting out in a restaurant with just this blank stare on your face because you can't enter into the conversation. These are all signs that something's changing and it's important to get a hearing test. The sooner we detect a hearing loss and can take the steps needed to improve that hearing, the more that we can keep cognitive function. For those who do have some hearing loss, maybe not a significant amount, but by all means get your hearing tested every year just as you see your dentist and you get your eyes examined. It should be done yearly with some hearing loss present. Most important is when a patient comes in to see us, they realize they're seeing a team. There are several doctor of audiologists on staff, hearing care providers on staff, we have front and back office to make sure that from the time that patient comes into the office till the time they leave, that they have just the best possible experience. Communication amongst our team is critical so that for each and every patient that we see, we're all working together in providing them with the health care, the hearing health care that they need. What sets us apart from the competition is our ability to work, get our patients in very quickly be able to provide for their needs. If something breaks down, we can get them in that very day. We keep Saturday hours, so we're here for our patients first and foremost. There is absolutely no reason for someone not to come in and get that evaluation, that basic hearing test. We do not charge for that. We do not charge for the consultation. Again, it's all about knowing your own hearing, knowing your own body, and getting a better understanding. Do I have a hearing loss? If so, what can I do about it? Another way to protect your hearing, if you mow the lawn or attend a loud concert, be sure to wear hearing protection. Here's what's coming up on your health how you can help doctors in Arizona find a way to prevent brain diseases like Alzheimer's. And whether you're an early morning runner or a nighttime elliptical rider, this gym fits your schedule. Studies show that exercise can help improve your memory and brain function, but it can be hard to find that extra hour for yourself. At Anytime Fitness, you set the schedule any time, day or night. When you walk in these doors, we want you to feel like you are a part of this community in here. We want you to be friendly, we want you to know us, we want you to, to talk to us, we want you to be comfortable in here, but we also want you to get a darn good workout while you're here too. One of the things that, that people find as an objection to exercise is time. I don't have time. Now, if you told me that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that you do have time. I'll, I'll show you exactly where you're, you're wrong about that or where you do have time. But as far as the gym is concerned, we want to accommodate people with those busy, hectic schedules. The nice thing about being a member at Anytime Fitness is not only is it convenient as we're 24-7, but we also have great coaching services here. We've got both the personal training, the group training, um, we have the app, so we can do virtual coaching. We can use the app to send you workouts, personalized workouts just for you, based off of what your goals are. A lot of people, they, they work hard, they get into it, and they fall off the wagon after three weeks and we're gonna hold you accountable. We're gonna be there every step of the way. We're gonna give you a whole mapped out plan for the entire month. And after that month's over, we're gonna have a plan going forward so we keep you rolling, we keep you going. That's how it's supposed to be run and that's how we run it here. My name is Allison Hahn. I am a PhD student working on my PhD in communication and a Highland Games athlete, which basically means I put on a kilt and I throw heavy things. Usually have a, a two hour window where I can come and work out. Um, and that means getting in, getting out, getting home, getting showered. So I really enjoy this gym because it's close to where I live. It's convenient, it's open at all hours, and I never have to wait for anything. I can just go do what I need to do and get out. 
coming to Anytime Fitness means that I actually have a wide range of weight to work with. There's good squat racks here, there's good drop pads here. The equipment is high quality and you'll find something for every skill level that you need. One of the reasons why I wanted to own Anytime Fitness is I want to help people get to where they want to be in life, to reach their goals. We want people to better their life, whatever it is. Maybe it's a small thing. Maybe they just want to run down the street with their grandkid. Maybe they want to be able to ride their bike with their kid. It, it doesn't have to be the big jump to lose 100 pounds or get ripped. It's the small goals and it's being able to live life better that we can help you with. Doors always open with exercise and it's never too late to start. And we've had people think that they're, you know, they're over the hill and there's just no point. Well, you know, there's, there's definitely a point. If you can still extend your life and, and live a higher quality of life, why not do it? We're at TGen in downtown Phoenix, the premier place for brain health research. And joining me now is Dr. Matt Huntelman, a professor in neurogenomics. Welcome, doctor. Hi. Hi. Tell us a little bit more about TGen. Well, TGen is a nonprofit research institute that sits right in the heart of Phoenix. And we try and better understand disease and ways to treat it using the human genome, our blueprint. Tell us more about the MindCrowd project. What is that? Our MindCrowd project is a web-based scientific study of the brain. Okay. It's a way for the average person to participate in scientific research from their home. Wow. And so we're trying to better understand how the brain works and hopefully leverage that information to better understand how to treat the brain and avoid brain diseases like Alzheimer's disease. How can they participate from home? Well, it's actually really simple because it's internet-based. Okay. So they can just log on to our website at mindcrowd.org Okay. and it takes about 10 minutes to complete our study from start to finish. Okay, perfect. Now, what is your end goal for the MindCrowd project? Well, we're trying to do the largest study that's ever been done for the brain, and we are one of the biggest right now, but our ultimate goal is to reach one million people as part of this work. How many people thus far have participated in the MindCrowd project? Right now, we've had over 75,000 people wow. participate in our research, and it's from throughout the country and actually from throughout the world, over 150 different countries we've had participants take the test from. Doctor, tell us some of your findings on the MindCrowd project. One thing we've noticed which is really interesting is that women who are postmenopausal, around the age of 50 to 51, actually see an improvement in their performance on the test. And uh, we don't really understand that yet, but we're very interested in studying it further. Most women who come up to me after they hear me speak uh, say that doesn't seem right, it seems like menopause uh, made my memory worse. Mm -hmm. But in fact, our study is showing the exact opposite. Now, doctor, you study the brain on many levels, so give us some tips and some of your best advice on how to keep our brains healthy. You know, that's a great question. People ask that all the time. I think there are a few things we know for sure that are helpful in science. Uh, first is socialization. So it's important to get out there in the world and enjoy your social circles. That's really important. Uh, but also, things you do to help your body are generally help, helpful for your brain. So exercise, eating healthy, those things also have been shown to improve brain health. So what's good for your body is also good for your brain. Well, such purposeful work you all are doing here at TGen, and I absolutely love that the community can get involved and participate. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Next on Your Health, we'll talk with experts about the benefits of breastfeeding. And if you want to start a healthy lifestyle, Weight Watchers has a new program that lets you eat your favorite foods and lose weight. Breastfeeding is known to have numerous benefits on a baby's developing brain. The experts at Agave Pediatrics specialize in helping new moms navigate the world of breastfeeding. My name is Rajiv Agarwal and I'm one of the pediatricians at Agave Pediatrics. Agave Pediatrics is a whole different concept in pediatrics in which we have four offices and we have a different way of looking at the care of children. 
We look at it in a very holistic way, in a very family-centered way. All of this happens in great looking offices, in very child-friendly offices. So we are very breastfeeding friendly in our approach. The American Academy of Pediatrics, the American Breastfeeding Medicine, the Surgeon General, they've all talked about the benefits of breastfeeding. Breast milk is so important in decreasing the incidence of asthma, allergies. It increases your IQ, it decreases in ear infections, decreases in SIDS. The list is long. People think breastfeeding should be just very obvious. The baby is born, put them to the breast, and there you go. When it does not happen, then comes the role of the pediatrician to find out why is it not working. My name is Dr. Nicole Thomas and I'm a pediatrician at Agave Pediatrics. We do everything in our power to help women be successful with breastfeeding. Many of our providers are very well versed in breastfeeding, breastfeeding issues, personal experience with breastfeeding. We try and hold your hand every step of the way. It's frustrating because it's on the job training, that's what I say. You can read every book, you can talk to all your friends about their experience, but when you have your baby, it might be completely different. Nobody should ever be ashamed if breastfeeding just does not work out. We do our best. Um, we look at your anatomy. We look at your baby's anatomy. We look at how your guys' anatomy fits together. And we will spend that time with you and make sure that when you leave our office, you feel comfortable with the plan. As a new mom, it can be really hard to breastfeed. And I had a very difficult experience breastfeeding with my first child and I knew I really wanted to give it a go with all my future babies. And uh, after I found Agave Pediatrics, I recognized right away that they were very supportive of breastfeeding and that seemed like the perfect answer for us. The staff is always warm and friendly. Um, the kids look forward to coming and they, they know that they can get a sticker at the end of their visit and that's something special to look forward to. I definitely recommend Agave Pediatrics. They've been just great in our whole journey through parenthood. Uh, they teach us what we need to know. They've been supportive in a lot of our decisions and um, being able to provide us the extra support that we've needed along the way with our children's own unique needs. A recent study showed babies who are breastfed score higher in cognitive tests and have 20% more white matter in their brains. That's the part of the brain that communicates with the rest of the body. We've got more coming up on your health. Fuel your brain and your body with Weight Watchers New Plan. Fall means comfort foods, but that also can mean eating healthy goes out the window. Weight Watchers' new plan allows you to eat both your favorite comfort foods and succeed at weight loss. What I love about Weight Watchers is it's always evolving. And so it is based on the up to the minute science. So this is not your mom or your grandmother's Weight Watchers. This is new and this is exciting. So we're looking at things differently. We're looking at food, we're looking at fitness. We're going to encourage you to move more than you have before, and that's a great thing. And we're gonna focus on the mindset, which I think is a huge change. Weight loss starts from the head and moves its way down. We talk a lot at Weight Watchers about our why, don't we? The, the reason that we walk through the door, the reason that we're here. I love being a Weight Watchers leader because I get to see people at their best, even if they're not at their best that day. After kids, it was really hard to kind of, you know, bring off the weight and stuff like that is so, so hard. I had spent some time with my kids outside and couldn't keep up with them. And I have four kids and they're crazy and so I knew it was time to do something that was gonna work this time. I really resonate with moms. I joined Weight Watchers after my first daughter was born and I had been a chubby child. I'd put on weight as a newlywed. But when I got pregnant with her, I thought, I don't want this to be the rest of my life. So I joined Weight Watchers because I needed friends, I needed accountability, I needed a leader who would love me to go. I lost over 60 pounds, and that baby is now a junior in college. So it has become part of my life, and I'm so grateful for it. This plan is not one size fits all. We all do it differently, and that's why we're here to support each other 
and to share ideas and to laugh and to celebrate and to cry and all of those fun things that we do. I love the moms that come in carrying a baby in the carrier and they just look so lost. Learning that it's okay to take time to do things that are important to you is a huge valuable lesson that every man, woman, and child should learn. And so as you're watching these moms come in so overwhelmed and pretty soon they're learning, okay, I'm worth the time that it takes to cook my own meal. This is my first time doing Weight Watchers. Uh, but I did hear a lot of good stuff about it through doctors, you know, who were always constantly telling me about my weight. I used to say like, in my head, if you'd only know how hard I was trying. With the Weight Watchers program, we encourage members to make small changes. Here's the most beautiful thing about activity. If yesterday you went two steps and today you go three steps, you have accomplished something fantastic. It's maybe taking a few more steps. If you have family come into town, our weather's beautiful. If they come into town, instead of taking them out to eat, maybe we go to a museum. Maybe we go on a nature walk. Those little things that add up to big weight loss and big changes. And the changes are what we're really looking for. Sarah's amazing. She really makes it a point to make everybody feel like they've won at something for that day or that week. So if I can come here and celebrate, if I can share stories, if someone bought something that I can try that I love, if someone can cry and say they had a rough week, and I can then say, I had a rough week too, this is hard. Or if we all celebrate together, that's a great thing. For more information on MindCrowd, head over to TGen's website where you'll also find information about upcoming events dealing with Alzheimer's. A few last tips on keeping your brain healthy and improving memory. Try an adult coloring book. Our days are filled with loads of analytical thinking. Coloring relieves stress and uses a different part of the brain. Try doing a crossword puzzle or word search. This aids with memory and other brain functions. Your diet plays an important role in brain health, so eat foods that are low in saturated fat and cholesterol. Focus on fruits, veggies, nuts, and grains, and limit red meat. Finally, walk. Walking increases memory and is good for your overall health. Thank you to TGen for letting us visit with them today, and thank you for joining us on your health. I'm Erica Cardenas. See you next time.